warm welcome everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum and we're looking at a game called Mask, uh, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1987. It's a sort of like a roaming shooter which also come out in the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64 and it's based on the Kenner Parker Toys, um, so a US toy company which was later taken over by Hasbro in 1991. So what happens in this game? Well you control a, a tank of some description and you must plant bombs and, oh, what's going on there? You must plant bombs and find your way through various stages. Now, there is a glitch on stage three, which I probably won't get to, which means it's unpassable. Uh, stage one, you're versus conventional um, robots and stuff, um, tanks, if this ever loads. I'm a bit worried now, will this have to be abandoned? And I think uh, further stages are dinosaurs and uh, various other bits and pieces. Stop the tape. Okay, we will. Editing required here. Right, here we go. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of an edit, which uh, hopefully you won't see. So, I'm in this tank. It, it's very hard to control, and it's uh, very cumbersome as well. Now, there's bits on the map that we must find, pick up. Look, there's something there. Um, I think we've got to plant a bomb to go through some sort of wall. Uh, there's other, like, key cards to collect and various other bits and pieces. But um, I'm not enjoying it so far. Uh, I did see it got quite a good rating, which I don't normally check them, but it got a quite a good rating on the World of Spectrum site. Um, uh, yes, it's very yellow, it's very see-through, you have to keep your wits about you. It's scrolling not too bad so far. Um, would I come back to it as a kid? Well, a bit early to tell at the moment, but it's really difficult to control this. There's quite a bit of inertia with this tank, and it looks like the enemies are going to keep regenerating. So I picked up something. Can I pick up that? Is that something to pick up? Now, if I don't do very well, I will put in a poke for infinite energy or something. Right, where's there's a wall somewhere. I know that much at least. Right, so pick up stuff, blow up tanks, and I can see this game getting quite annoying. Now, the game did have two sequels. Um, I don't think I only owned any Kenner Parker toys. Are they the ones that released those original Star Wars um, figures? Were they Kenner? Might well have been, you know. Let me know in the comment section below, right? So down and fire buttons release a bomb, I think. Beep, beep, beep. There it is, a black dot, and that should blow the wall out of the way. And then we should be there. Now, I don't know what I'm doing after that point. Uh, right, through we go. That's a nice smart rectangle. It's done through here to the other side. Right now, we're going over some kind of stream. Uh, being attacked by boulders, is that? Or is it beach balls or onions? Right, so just glide round here. This is really difficult to find out what's going on. Um, I'm not enjoying this at all. It's frustrating and it's hurting my eyes. There's a red bar down the right hand side. Not quite sure what that is. Possibly it's fuel then, maybe. It's not going down very um, quickly. And the sound's a bit annoying also. Now, under the wrong hands, it was capable of making some quite annoying noises. Um, this is one of them. Is that lava going down or water? Can I get... Oh, God. I don't think I can get through here. Maybe I need to plant another bomb. Which I did. And that doesn't seem to have done anything. Can I get round there? No, it won't let me go up. Why won't it let me go up? I just want to go up. 7-Up. Maybe I should go back where I came and need to find somewhere else. Now, if you had this game back in the day, uh, let me know, because I'm probably doing it all wrong. Mask, 1987. Uh, game reviewed early on in the day. If you haven't seen that one, it's Bosconian 87, which always come out in 1987. So two games from 1987. I prefer the first one to this. But uh, it's quite detailed graphics, which, um, because it's all monochrome, of course, it's making it hard to see. If you're going to do monochrome, go for less detail, I'd say, because then it makes it easier to see your ship. Let's go back through here then. There's a cactus. Would be nice to see the dinosaurs, but we're not going to. Maybe I've got to, maybe I've got to put a bomb here to get through. What do you think? But I'm out of bombs. Mm. Card damage is on the bottom middle. Um, I think there's is that a map on the far right? I'm quite, not quite sure. Yeah. So I need some I need some help here. I'm completely and utterly lost. So it's quite reflective of what my first or second goes would have been as a kid. Uh, would I play this again? Probably not, unless I had a walkthrough guide. I'd uh, be interested to see what the sequels, Mars 2 and... I don't think that... Mars 3 or might be Mars something Venom or something like that. be interested to see what that is like. Yes. Should you hunt this one down? Well, uh, unless you've got some nostalgia for it. At the moment, I'd have to say no. Why would you want to hunt this down? Uh, there's better things available. Bits of it. I don't know why. It reminds me of um, Flying Shark, which is a great... Um, a shooter on the spectrum that's all like monochrome as well in yellow 
Uh, but uh, yeah, it plays a bit better than this one. Um, I am getting a little bit frustrated because I'm a little bit lost. The things to pick up on the screen there, you can see like squares, they're not immediately obvious. Oh, what's that? Right, that seems like critical. Mask Lifter, Codename Magic, age 27. Is that, I think that was an option maybe to swap players, was it? Well, anyway, I couldn't seem to be able to swap it. Maybe you went to a different area then, I don't know. There's a building there, but I don't think we can get in. There's some sort of time portal. Can we get on that? No. Oh, I don't know. You don't know what you're doing. I'm not a big fan of this one. Uh, despite its great ratings on World of Spectrum, uh, possibly people knew what they were doing and played it for quite some time. I mean, it looks like it should be good. Uh, the graphics are small enough to get a lot on the screen, a big playing area. I don't like the way the enemies just keep regenerating. But the thing that's destroying this for me really is the slipperiness of this tank. It doesn't really hold together. I mean, it's well programmed to do um, inertia like this, but it's, it, it just frustrates me. The, the only games I sort of like, in, like the inertia bits, is games, simple games like Jetpack by Ultimate, which is pretty cool. There's a few other good ones as well. But, um, you know, for this... Yeah, uh, it's got it's it's a bit too uh it's a, there's a little bit too much going on for me. Hmm. Right. But if you if you're into the toys, I presume these are all based on toys because it's licensed with the Kenner Toy Company, Kenner Parker Toys. Later become Hasbro. Hasbro. I think they own the uh, Monopoly. I think. Yes, Monopoly. Hmm. We reviewed Monopoly on quite a few different systems. This tank tries to shoot me up the bum. Uh. Yeah. Craziness. It's a crazy, 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 crazy life, etc, etc. Can't remember if I put the poke on or not. I think I would have died by now. Perhaps the poke is on. Anyway, I'm lost like a fool in a swimming pool. Uh, that doesn't make even sense. What's this thing? There's a thing here. Maybe that does something. See, I can't even get on it. Stop slippering and th that, s that speed is on me. Hmm. If it was a bit easier, like that bit I went through the top now, I'm beginning to think I should have just kept going forward. Maybe if I just found a little small gap to weave through, it would have got me to the next uh, stage. It looks like there's a site to pick up there, like wings, but they're not. It's just a bit of the scenery. Hmm. There's a good game here waiting to get out, but uh, whether you can unlock it or not, I do not know. So yeah, out of the two, track down Bosconian, do not track down a mask unless you've got some big nostalgia for it or you've got a bit of a, a remnant, a bit of an idea of what you're doing. Uh, it's going down as one of these games as a kid. Um, I would have played it for a bit, wandered around not really knowing what I'm doing as a bit of exploration, but there's not really a great bit of exploration you can actually do. Um, yeah, go through, go through the tunnel at the top and then just try and weave your way through, perhaps. Yeah, but you, you know, as I say, you're not dying straight away. So there's something about it. It's trying to give you a chance to get used to the game. But whether I want to get used to the game, probably not. Um, when there's a, uh, as a kid, you didn't really have hundreds and hundreds of games. Like uh, since I've started reviewing the Spectrum games now, I've played much more than I would have done back in the day. Such is the beauty of emulation. So it's nice seeing them, comparing it what the games I did had. Uh, I'm not feeling too sad that I didn't have this one. Um, as I say, Flying Shark, much better than this. Uh, but I'm, I only like it, so the similarity of the graphics, uh, some memory for you. Um, right, let's have another go try and get up here then. It's the annoying boulder sounds. And I think I've blown up, have I? And I have to start all over again. Hooray! And we start all over again. Yeah. Oh, man. I could while away the hours Conferring with the flowers Consulting with the rain My head would be a scratching And those ideas would be hatching If I only had a brain Yes, I do feel like the scarecrow now This has been recorded coming up to pantomime season So if anyone heard that and wants me in pantomime uh, I, 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 I can make myself available If I only had a brain Yes, good, right This tank's going nowhere um, if I squint to the Wizard of Oz, get a brain, and then I might be able to complete this game. But uh, besides that, I'm just a hoodlum that's lost in desert land, controlling a tank that's behaving like it's on ice skates, and getting absolutely nowhere. Boof. Right. It doesn't really make me want to hunt down Mask 2 and the other one, but I probably will do, to see if it plays a little bit better. Now, I know you can get through here somehow, because there's a little square thing on the other side for me to pick up. Answer the telephone, someone. 
Yeah, that hasn't gone through, has it? Maybe you need to plant the bomb somewhere else. Strategic bombing. Right, I put that bomb there. Is that going to do anything? So you start off with two bombs, and I put my bomb in the wrong place. How often have we seen that happen? Um, yeah, bath bomb. They're quite powerful. And stink bomb. Remember stink bombs from school? I don't, I don't know where they bought them from. Did they make their own stink bombs? Maybe it's just a stinky kid. But anyway, it, it could evacuate a classroom. You couldn't go in there. Some kind of ammonia thing. We can't get through here now. We've met. We've messed this up because we've used our two bombs. We've messed up the thing. Completedo. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure how much longer I can um, play this one for. Yeah. Mask. As usual, if you know any similar games that play a bit better, then put it in the comment section below. Uh, whenever you mention a game, quite often I will uh, put it in the list to review and make sure it isn't one I've done already. Uh, a quick search, N. Jenkins in the name, or check the channel there. Um, yeah, because it's getting to a point now I've reviewed so many, I could get into the embarrassing situation of reviewing the same game, tw game twice. Yeah, Nick, do a search. Follow your own advice, you stinker. Yeah, alright, I will. Okay, fair enough. I can be a hard taskmaster to myself. Look at this thing. Boom. He's wondering why his guns aren't blowing me up. Well, yeah, they won't blow me up. Yeah. I, I keep wandering around, hoping for... Um, I can outrun a bullet. I keep wandering around thinking that um, the game's going to open up to me. I suddenly notice something that I didn't notice before. But it's not opening up to me, is it, really? It's just frustration city. It's using electricity. We could use for something else, like a hairdryer or a popcorn machine, or maybe to make our own ice cream. But instead we're uh, playing this thing, 8-bit. Mm. Yeah. I won't be playing this again, I don't think, unless I find myself on uh, a TV show for big cash prizes in the mask end round. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, this game is not to be confused with a brilliant film starring Jim Carrey called The Mask, which is a bit more active than this. He puts on a green mask and jumps around like a hoolum with lots of energy. Smoking! This game is not smoking, and you shouldn't either. Uh, smoking is for, um, um, well, losers. Unless you're addicted to it. I don't, I, I don't want to upset anyone here. If it calms your nerves, well, good on you, but no real reason to start. And vaping's quite difficult as well, isn't it? That's, uh, that's supposed to be an alternative, but um, uh, it's uh, unhealthy as well. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm getting myself into trouble. Uh, I didn't like this game overall. It's uh, Mask, published on the ZX Spectrum by Gremlin Graphics in 1987. Could have been a bit better, and the advancement could have been a bit easier. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.